everyone. Hello. Uh, it's been a long time since I made my last video. In short, I'm sorry, but I promise I will try to upload more regularly. Okay, so the topic of today's video is both a happy and a controversial one for me because I've sweat so much to get where I am right now. And today I would like to share my journey on my journey to a German master's program. So just for your um, general information, master programs in Germany are free, even the ones that are in English. So actually I found my, many more programs that were related to what I wanted to do, but unfortunately they are in German. And I do understand German. I spoke German pretty well in high school because I was learning it. But unfortunately, I forgot it due to Chinese. So even if you want to study in Germany in English, don't give up. Most programs are still free. You only pay um, a fee of 100 euros per semester. And it also gives you our transportation card, which you can use either all over Germany or in your specific um, land. You know, Germany has a lot of lands within mm -hmm. so yeah it's free it's amazing the quality is super good so if you want to experience something completely unique and different i strongly recommend applying for a master's program in germany because it's much less stressful than a bachelor's for a bachelor you usually need to go to studying college you need to go through the hustle of um, somehow transferring your school record into the German system of Abitur. So from what I've heard, it's a much more nitty gritty process as opposed to the application process for a master's degree. So definitely consider that. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will share my journey with you now days ago I got a notification email, uh, a letter of admission from uh, Cologne Game Lab. It's an amazing school in Köln or in Cologne and I am gonna study there as a master's student starting from this September and I thought well maybe I could share this with people because not that many people know about the school, not many people in general know how to even approach master programs in Germany. So I'm going to just share my path, but also give you general advice on how to get into a German school, an American school, a British school, because I think we all get overwhelmed uh, when we start thinking about studying abroad. But from my personal experience, it's not that bad. I, I am originally Russian. You can probably hear that in my accent, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but I went to a school in America and in China for my bachelor. I graduated from NYU this year. Yes, Violet Pride. So I graduated and I thought, well, what should I do? Um, and I decided, well, maybe Germany would make sense for me. German education is free. It's excellent. It has a history of being free and excellent. I mean, what else do you need in life? So um, originally I thought about going to Brit Britain or to America, but as you know, master's degrees are very expensive in those countries and I don't really have the cash with me at the moment, right now, I'm broke. So I thought, okay, maybe I should go and look into some European schools, uh, like German schools or maybe Nordic schools. So I started my research process, um, you know, like getting the schools on my list, researching the requirements, uh, bookmarking every single website with German schools. So I think I started this process in last November, so November 2018, because I wanted to be uh, an incoming student of the class 2019. So I thought, okay, I should start doing my research early. So I started doing my approximate research last November and this is tip number one. If you want to go study abroad, you have to start doing your research, your preparation as soon as possible because most schools require either IELTS or TOEFL or if you're going to Germany like test DAF or some other like language certificate or if you're going to America it can be GRE or some other test. So in order to apply to as many schools as possible, you have to have as many tasks as possible on your hands. 
So that's tip number one, regardless of where you're going, you should definitely start very early. So the first step would be to narrow down the faculty, the major you're interested in, and then narrow down the amount of countries you're applying to. I would even suggest just applying to one country, um, unless the application process is extremely easy and that you know you can handle this. Um, so in my case, I narrowed down my research to Germany and uh, I hold a bachelor degree in interactive media arts. So I searched for master programs um, that were somewhat closer to my field of studies and my field of interest. I will leave all the links down below that were helpful for me. Um, but generally I recommend just doing something as simple as Googling uh, interactive media arts programs in Germany or master programs in media in Germany. And usually it will give you a list of websites that will further um, help you find the right university. So once you have like, for example, 10 universities, you go and narrow it down even further. You see if you're eligible, you see if it's expensive or if it's free, you see what kind of examinations they need. So that's the first step. Um, in Germany, some universities require such thing as UniAssist. So UniAssist is um, an organization that checks and um, proves that your bachelor degree is eligible, is creditable, is good. So that was my first step, find the university. Second step was to apply to UniAssist and usually just requires um, your transcript, your bachelor degree, and if you're not ready yet with your bachelor degree, you need the mail from your um, bursar or like registrar that you're actually studying at your university. You need to pay the fee uh, and then you need to wait. So what I did is I applied to university and I applied to UniAssist at the same time. And so UniAssist notifies your school that yeah, you're indeed eligible, as well as sends you the evaluation report so that you know that yes, you are in fact eligible and the school will be notified of that as well. So then um, the actual process of, the actual application process in Germany is always in uh, spring or even in summer. So I had to apply before March 31st I did apply before March 31st. Uh, it's quite early for Cologne Game Lab, but that's a requirement. Most schools in Germany have a deadline of the 31st of May. So that gives you much more time and freedom. And then you will probably know whether you accept it or not sometime in June or actually July even. So I did apply and then there were those two moments, two months of desperation, anxiety, and thoughts of killing myself because I thought I'm not gonna get in. Then the second part was... Uh... So the second part was um, the notification that I received that basically told me that I have passed the first round, the first round of the application and am invited for the second round, the interview round. So I was super excited about that because I, at that moment, was in Bali um, having fun with my boyfriend and so that was like double the joy, double the excitement because not only was I in Bali but I also got notified that I am invited for the second round. So then the second round came, I nailed my interview, although I, of course I did think that I failed it, obviously. And then there came the time, Raha, two days ago where I got my letter of acceptance. So what I've learned is no matter where you go, uh, Germany or UK, you need to start doing the process early. You need to figure out whether the school requires uni assist application. Um, and then you just follow the guidelines that each website of each university has. Honestly, I think we amplify the amount of worry unnecessarily because always, in, in any case, the university you're applying to will have all the necessary information and emails that will help you clarify the process. So if, for example, the school doesn't require a uni assist, 
then you just go ahead and apply by following the link, by uh, submitting all the documents. Usually you just submit everything electronically online. Uh, I also applied to another school and in that case it was even easier. All I had to do was register in the application portal of the university, uh, attach my CV, my motivation letter, my transcript, my bachelor diploma, and uh, a recommendation letter, and that's it. In some cases you need to do more, for example, in IT you sometimes have interviews, sometimes you have examinations or you have uh, different interview rounds. So in that case you just follow, you have to follow the step-by-step -step process and submit all the required documents. I don't think it's that difficult or that hard. Uh, as long as you, you know, take it slow, don't rush and try to email the school if you do have some questions, they usually reply quite often. As for Cologne Game Lab, um, the process was pretty straightforward. There was an application task, so I had to come up with an idea for a game, I had to write a research proposal, um, as well as give them some, quarter, some kind of prototype of my future game or my um, interactive experience. We had a month to do that, so I did complete that in a month. Um, I also submitted a letter of recommendation, my CV, my portfolio, um, my transcript and my NYU diploma. Or oh, actually the fact that I was enrolled at NYU and was about to graduate soon. Because yeah, that was in March and I only graduated in May this year. So yeah, this was kind of my journey. Uh, right now I'm working and struggling with the uh, German visa. Currently I do live in Germany with my boyfriend, but I'm going through this hassle of opening a bank account, um, getting uh, an insurance, applying to, like enrolling in the school, applying for the visa, oh, so many things. Um, hopefully this process is going to be over in August. Um, I will let you know guys how it goes, generally I will be posting much more often, it will all be from Germany from now on. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I lived in America, in New York and in Shanghai, in China, so now my life is taking me to Germany and I'm super excited for it, um, can't wait. So if you have any questions about Cologne Game Lab or the application process in Germany, Feel free to get in contact with me. I'll, I'm leaving all the links below to, that helped me. Uh, also leaving all the links below where you can find me to talk. So have a good day, guys. If you like this video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you.